Ever heard phrases like, I was just lucky, or, sorry, I'm always messing things up, and wondered what they really mean? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the world of language to decode some common phrases that may indicate low self-esteem. First up, I was just lucky. Now this might seem like a humble brag, but it's often a sign of someone downplaying their achievements. They're essentially saying, I didn't earn this, it just fell into my lap. But remember, luck might play a part, but it's usually the result of hard work and dedication. Next, we've got the classic, sorry, I'm always messing things up. This self-deprecating phrase is a clear red flag. People who constantly apologize or take the blame for everything are often struggling with feelings of inadequacy or low self-esteem. They might feel like they're a burden or that they're always making mistakes. As we switch scenes, we now see a group of friends gathered in a cozy living room. Their faces are hidden, but their words and actions speak volumes. The room is filled with a sense of unity, warmth, and acceptance. You did your best, and that's enough, one of them says, offering a comforting hand on a shoulder. Another chimes in, remember, we all make mistakes. It's how we learn and grow. The room hums with affirmations and comforting words, a powerful illustration of how positive reinforcement and empathy can uplift and support those dealing with feelings of inadequacy and unworthiness. This scene is a reminder that words have the power to heal and that a little empathy can go a long way. And finally, we can't forget about, I don't deserve good things. This phrase is a heartbreaker. It's often used by people who believe they're not worthy of happiness or success. They might feel like they're not good enough or that they don't deserve to be happy. So what can you do if you hear these phrases? Well, it's important to offer support and reassurance. Let them know that it's okay to accept compliments, to be proud of their achievements, and to ask for help when they need it. Remind them that they are important, that their feelings matter, and that they are deserving of good things. And remember everyone has moments of self-doubt, but if someone you know is constantly using these phrases, it might be a sign that they're struggling with low self-esteem. So be kind, be understanding, and most importantly, be there for them. To wrap things up, phrases like, I was just lucky, Sorry, I'm always messing things up, I don't want to be a burden, and I don't deserve good things, can often indicate low self-esteem. If you hear these phrases, offer support and reassurance, and remind the person that they are important, worthy, and deserving of good things. And that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content. Remember, language is a powerful tool, so let's use it to uplift and support each other. Now, let's take a moment to visualize how we can put these words of advice into action. Picture a serene park. The sun is setting, casting a warm, comforting glow over two friends sitting on a bench. One looks downcast, their shoulders slumped, their gaze directed at their hands in their lap. They've just muttered, I'm sorry, I'm always messing things up. The other friend, patient and understanding, reaches out a comforting hand, squeezing their friend's shoulder. They respond, Hey, we all make mistakes. It's part of being human. You're not a mess up, you're learning and growing. Their words are kind, sincere, and they make a point to maintain eye contact, ensuring their friend knows they mean every word. This is how we can use language to uplift and support each other in real life situations. It's not just about understanding these phrases, but also about knowing how to respond, to show empathy and support when it's most needed. In the next scene, we'll wrap up our discussion and give you a few more tips on how to be a supportive friend. Stay tuned.